All right, fellow travelers or wannabe travelers, this is Brian at IBEW Local Union 136, Birmingham, Alabama. I have left Evansville, Local 16. I was working up there for Skanska. Worked there about a month, maybe six weeks. Hunted for another couple of weeks and then uh, left, came home, stayed home one night. Of course, it doesn't matter to me. Stayed home one night, came down here to Jacksonville, Florida, local 177, and caught a call down here. This call's with Miller Electric. They got a lot of work in Florida, a lot of work on hospitals. This is a high rise office tower. I think it's 12 stories. Um, I started, first day on the job was Friday, orientation was Thursday. And uh, we also worked eight hours Saturday, worked 10 Friday, we'll be on 10s, five tens, and two eights. So uh, <clears throat> I worked uh, Saturday and Sunday. They actually let us go early today. We got it all done. We had a shutdown, a little shutdown on their temporary power. So we got that back on about an hour early. They let us go. So uh, anyway, I've met some good uh, brothers here lately. Down here in Jacksonville, looks like a lot of people from Jacksonville down here working. We do have uh, about four brothers from uh, local 558 Sheffield, Alabama. They're down here, I met them. And uh, they actually were working night shift on the uh, job a few months ago. I was on up there in Sheffield. I was working day shift. Probably passed them a few times in the morning or evening, but Never uh, met them till now, so they're down here. Uh, got another brother down here. He's out of local 136. Met up with him. We're working on the same floor, different uh, different crews. So anyway, um, so far it's going good down here. I believe uh, temperature today high was 50, low was like. 35 this morning it's pretty chilly the sun comes out it feels good but the uh, the wind blowing it's pretty cold this is uh, January I think it's 23rd of 2022 that cold front's coming down getting all the way here to Jacksonville they said they have cold winters or cooler winters it gets winter time here they say and you know, it ain't like South Florida where it's just about warm year round. This does get cold, but uh, never hardly any snow, they say. So anyway, we've had a good time uh, getting down here and getting to travel and uh, meet some people and getting on some good jobs and getting to see Jacksonville, Florida. Of course it's hard to do when you're working seven days a week but I'm doing it seven days a week so I can only work eight months a year so on these jobs where you can catch the overtime I go to them and uh, catch all the overtime I can save it up and then in between jobs you can skip a month in between jobs not work two months I think I just skipped uh, three months earlier had COVID in the middle of that and uh, go back to work, catch these calls, working overtime seven days a week, and uh, try to do it off and on as it comes and end up you only worked eight months a year. It's pretty nice when you can do that, and uh, of course my kids are grown. They're not kids anymore. They're, one's about to be 25 and the other's 23. So they got their own thing going on, and. 
they got their life going and uh, got their careers headed in the right direction, working hard. And uh, making it easy on me, Tristan's staying at my house. That's my youngest son. So I ain't gotta take care of anything there. He's got it all handled. Any bills I need to pay, I just pay over the phone. He sends me pictures of mail. Any mail that comes in, he's able to take a picture of it, send it to me. And if it's something important, I can call them and uh, just about do everything over the phone. <clears throat> Saves me from having to go back or have him forward it on out to a post office box here or a UPS or FedEx or anything. And uh, that helps, so that's life on the road as a traveler. Now this job was, uh, when I first called down here, or listen to the recorder, I should say, you know, you can call the uh, Union Hall's recorder and uh, listen to the calls. There were like seven jobs available down here to this uh, FIS building, and uh, there goes a young surfer. That may be some other kind of board. What kind of board is that? But he's cold. It's about 50 degrees. And uh, anyway, called the recorder, heard there were seven jobs available, and I just got home, you know. I've been gone three months there, and uh, I, um, I was ready to stay home, so I ended up staying one night. Next day, got up, unpacked some stuff out of my suburban because you know a lot of time I do the car camping thing where uh, I can stay at parks or <clears throat> public land stuff like that and uh, it's cheaper than a motel and I can just go anywhere at a moment's notice so I put that into uh, action I called the union hall he said we got about four calls left I said, man, I said, uh, they're probably gone by next week. And uh, the dispatcher said, they're gobbling them up. If you want one, you're going to have to come get it. I said, let me wait. Let me think about it. So I went unloaded my stuff. And I was like, you know what? I got, I don't need my hunting, hunting gear in here. I can unpack it and continue on right then and there. I got everything I need. So uh, within one hour, I was unpacked. The stuff I didn't need down here packed the stuff I did need down here which wasn't much most of it was already in my suburban and uh, took off down uh, left that evening around three something got down here around ten something and uh, just slept in the car that first night you know and uh, I think I went over to Planet Fitness Planet Fitness or Walmart, one of them nights. I've swapped it up some. And uh, got up the next day, went to the Union Hall, got my referral. <clears throat> then went to Miller Electric's shop, which is a nice shop. I mean, this thing was the size of a Costco. And people are uh, doing some business. And uh, did all my paperwork there. <clears throat> Did my drug screen that day. Then had to be here the next day, 6 a.m. Friday, to do another drug screen. <clears throat> Did that. Started work that day. Showed us around, showed us where everything is. Good rule of thumb is to ask, where are all the gang boxes and material boxes at? Because a lot of times stuff will get skipped in that first uh, meeting with uh, the bosses or your foreman or whoever. And you'll miss a key place that they hold material and you'll be going the long way to get certain things, material. And uh, didn't know, you know, maybe for several days where some closer material was. So find out where all the material is at that you can use. And find out if there's any places of material you don't need to touch because it's certain jobs that have to be done 
and uh, they got that material specified for that so anyway that's my take on week one I'll try to post again another week maybe next week but uh down here in Jacksonville Florida January of 2022 and uh I'm headed out here to look at the beach let me pause this and see if I can uh find the beach here in just a second and put it on this video I don't know if I'm ever gonna find the beach y'all good grief so yeah the name of this video are to be will he uh, make it to the beach jeez it's my IBW bug here we go y'all Atlantic Ocean that's what I came to local 177 for Jacksonville Florida look at that There it is, y'all. Nobody on the beach. Let's get a little closer. Only about 10 seconds of video left. I made it, y'all. Let's catch.